Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, so you know what that means. It's time for weekly roundup. I'm going to round up everything new for this week and give you my thoughts on them. If you're new here, hi, my name is Emily and I make videos about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And actually we're going to touch on all of those categories today in this video. I have some makeup, beauty, hair care, also some home items and jewelry and clothing. So a lot to talk about, so let's just get right in there to it. First, I want to talk about this amazing blue dress from Lulu's. I am head over heels for pastels right now. And so when I saw this dress on their website, I had to grab it. It's just such an amazing blue color. And when I got it and saw it in person, it did not disappoint. I just really love this shade. It's not like a grayish blue like a lot of the blues they do for winter typically. This is more like a robin's egg, just a very bright springy blue. So it's got a beautiful puff sleeve. There is a little bit of like um, almost a geometric pattern going across it. I'm gonna insert some photos of how I styled it here. It is not a fitted dress, which I don't typically go for. <laughs> But this oversized style is really on trend right now, so I wanted to try it. And guys, I really am in love. You could pop on a belt with it if you wanted to, to define your waist. But I kind of like this oversized look because if you want to go eat a burger, <laughs> nobody's going to know because it's not tight onto your body. It's oversized, it's comfy, it's really warm with this turtleneck. And yeah, I really, I love it. I couldn't say enough nice things about this dress. Next up are these beautiful bracelets from Kinsley Armel. Guys, I fell in love with these bracelets. They are just on a cord, so you just pull them on. They are the easiest thing in the world to wear. There's no um, clasps or anything like that. They have this beautiful natural stone. Um, on this one here, it's like a geode, which I'm really into right now. And different, um, different metals, if you could get them in silver. And actually, I want to order um, my next stack in silver to go with. Um, a lot of silver jewelry I'm kind of wearing lately. I think silver is going to be a trend we're going to see a lot of in spring and going into summer. So, yeah, I love this bracelet stack. I was really impressed with their packaging. It came with this little dust bag that says Kinsley Armel. And then it came in this cute little tin. So you could store them away when you're not using them. Um, yeah, I was just, like I said, really impressed with the quality. They're a little bit heavy. They feel expensive. And yeah, I am in love. I've already placed my next order. Um, but they did give me a code to share with you guys. So if you guys would like to try them too, the code is MidwestOD15. So you would get 15% off your order. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that code in the description box along with everything else I'm gonna show you in this video. Next thing I got from Express were these faux leather croc embossed shorts. I got so many compliments on these shorts when I posted them on Instagram and they are just really comfy. I got them in a size 10 and I feel like they are true to size. I probably could have sized down to an 8 but I just wasn't sure with this waistband and I'd rather just if they're a little big just pop a belt with it right. But yeah, and they have this front pleating, so it was really comfortable to wear, not too tight anywhere around your waist area. Next up are these adorable mittens from Abercrombie. Guys, they look like straight up stuffed animal hands. <laughs> but they are so amazingly warm. I wore them to take my dog for a walk yesterday, and my daughter was holding my hand and she's like, mom, it's like holding hands with a stuffed animal. <laughs> but they're really cute and I'm loving the mitten 
trend right now and yeah I think this color goes with a lot of things. Next up was an Etsy purchase from a company called Mila and Steve. It's a jewelry store. I love their little packaging and guys I just really like purchasing from Etsy because you're supporting small business which is so important right now especially but this purchase came with a little handwritten note and a little free barrette as a gift from them and it was just like the sweetest little thing and I am definitely going to order more things from them in the future so yeah I love I love this company. So I got this gorgeous pop socket. It's made from natural stone and it has gilding all around here. And it just it's just going to look so gorgeous with my new iPhone case that I ordered. It hasn't come in yet, but I'll be sure to share it. And yeah, I just couldn't be happier with this purchase. This is so beautiful. The next thing I picked up was from a store called Paper Source. They have like card party items, but I just happened to be in there to get a teacher gift and I saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, how fun is this? I've been doing a hydration challenge for the month of January. I'm trying to drink twice as much water as I normally do and I'm trying to find fun ways to get the water in, right? So first I had my, um, my fun sparkly Starbucks cup that I take to work with me, but when I'm at home, I've been loving sipping my water out of this cute little heart-shaped cup, and I thought how timely for, you know, doing it for the gram, for all the Instagram pictures for Valentine's Day. Next item I picked up was actually a food item. So um, many of you may not know, but I've been on a keto diet and I've lost 25 pounds. So I made a whole video about what I eat to lose weight on the keto diet. And this company is one of the products I featured, but this is a different flavor. I got in the Magic Spoon Fruit Loops cereal, and there's only three net carbs in a serving, so on days when I just can't eat another egg, I can have my Fruit Loops and my almond milk, and it's just a quick and easy keto breakfast. I love this company. If any of you are out there doing keto, check out Magic Spoon. Their cereals taste amazing and you will feel like you are not missing out on anything. So I got it in order. You have to buy four boxes. So I just got my order in and this will take me through the end of the month. Definitely probably into March. So the next thing that I got was um, actually a new lamp. I'll insert a photo from Ballard Designs. I took down my Christmas tree this week and guys, I was like, I hate everything in my house. <laughs> I hate everything. I took the Christmas tree down and my living room was like, really, this is what my living room looks like? There was just blah, okay? So lighting is probably the least expensive way you can transform your space. And I feel like when you're tired of your room, change out your lamps. It's the easiest trick in the book and it really can make a difference. Okay, the last thing I wanted to talk about is my Sephora order for the month of January. And guys, why? Why did it take me so long to learn about this product? I just can't believe I have gone 42, almost 43 years without trying this brand, Kerastase. I decided since my hair is color treated and very dry and very brittle and I need a desperate haircut and I was just hating my hair, right? So I thought I have to do something different. I decided to pick up the Kerastase Strengthening Shampoo. I also picked up the Strengthening Conditioner. And guys, I used these one time. I showered yesterday and washed my hair. I've been trying another thing is to not wash it every single day and wow just my hair looks so shiny and it just feels so soft I just can't believe that just with one shampoo how much of a difference it really can make for your hair it feels healthier 
and I am just there's no going back for me this is gonna be definitely in my um, definitely going to recommend this to anyone who has color treated hair girl go run out grab these in the strengthening love them love them and then I got the elixir altem so this you can put a couple squirts on after you towel dry your hair and just run it through it's just going to give your hair some extra shine and it's um it's got some oils and some other oils that help with shine and also um help with adding a little moisture to after you shower you can also use it on dry hair which is what i did today i didn't use it yesterday after i showered i waited and then today i right before i styled my hair I just did one pump and ran it through because I have very fine hair. So much shine, so pretty. I just, why did it take me so long to find this product, you guys? Yes, thank you, Karis Das. Not sponsored, by the way. The next thing I got from Sephora was the Peter Thomas Roth Mini Mask Kit. I love doing a mask like Sunday self-care day, right? Sit in the bathtub, put on a mask, and I've heard awesome things about this brand. I've tried one of their sample masks before and loved it. And so this one has purifying, exfoliating, lifting and toning, which I need, hydrating and soothing masks. So yay, this is what I'm gonna be doing tonight. A glass of wine, mask, and in my tub. The next thing I picked up, and I'm so glad I did, is the uh, Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I had tried this mascara in a Tarte palette that I received. You know how sometimes you get in your palette, you'll get a little mini mascara. I wasn't super impressed by that mascara because I'm a Chanel girl, like for life, Chanel for life mascara. It's so moisturizing and it actually helps condition your lashes. Um, it doesn't flake, it doesn't smear, it's just the ultimate mascara, okay? But every once in a while, when I want to add a little extra drama, I want to try a different mascara, okay? So this one, though guys, in this big size, really like just took my lashes up a level. Like for a special occasion or like if I'm filming a video, I will definitely reach for this mascara and I think the reason why this works so much better than my sample is because of the wand. If you can see, it's just got that hourgla hourglass shape and just the thick chunkiness of the wand itself I feel like really just creates a lot of drama. So yes, loving this one. Next thing I picked up is my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I use this every single night and so I wanted the big bottle. So I picked up one of these. I also picked up this beautiful Chanel quad. Um, I love me some good Chanel eyeshadow and this one has these beautiful pinks and purples. It's got a nude and a pop of white. I did use it today and I really love these colors. I wanted something in this pastel -y pink for spring. And this one is the, the Le Four Ombre. And this is number 228. Love these new shades. So that is everything that I picked up this week, you guys. Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you so much for watching these videos and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.